Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss, which is ServiceNow Problem Management. If you have ever faced recurring incident and wanted a permanent solution, then this video is for you. So let's dive into it. First thing first, what exactly is problem management? Well, it's crucial process in IT service management that aims to identify the root cause of recurring incident and implement effective solution to prevent them from happening again in the future. In the simple term, problem management helps tackle the underlying issues to reduce incident and improve overall performance and service quality of your instance. Okay. So what will be the key benefit of it? It helps you to improve incident, uh, preventing recurring issues, Okay, prevent proactive approach. Okay, If you find certain pattern or you can work on it Okay, and avoid potential problems Okay, and criteria service improvement. So, um, I know this this definition will be hard to swallow. Okay, so let's understand the problem management from a simple layman perspective. Okay, so imagine you work in an office where the coffee machine is possessed by a mischievous spirit. Okay, every morning without fail, it decides to malfunction and spray hot coffee all over you. Your colleagues find it hilarious, <laughs> but you are left dro dropping wet and desperate for a solution. That's when a problem management step in. So the first step in problem management is always problem identification. So in this particular scenario in the ServiceNow world, the first step is problem identification. You report the coffee machine incident to your IT department, explaining the recurring chores you face every single day. Okay? They lock it as a problem in ServiceNow and start investigation for the root cause. The second step comes is the root cause analysis. So we have we have uh, drafted our problem and the root cause analysis is get started. In this particular example, in the meantime, the IT team digs deep to find why the copying machine has a bandit against you. Okay, they collect data, analyze, previ analyze previous incident, and suspect that a prankster might have tampered with the machine internal mechanism. It's time for some serious de detective work. So basically, this is a root cause analysis where they found the root cause why exactly it's malfunctioning, right? The third step in this particular process in the no problem management with respect to this um, example is like, now armed with the findings, the IT team devised a plan to fix the coffee machine. Once and for all, they decide to install secret cameras near to catch the culprit in the act. Additionally, they schedule regular maintenance to ensure the machine remains to depend top okay so this is where the problem statement or uh, problem resolution come into ex incident uh, into existence right now they will monitor it out that oh uh, thank, thanks to IT team's effort the coffee machine is back to the its normal right non spraying self okay you can now enjoy your daily coffees dose okay without being dense as days pass you can realize that there is no more coffee cas catastrophe in sight okay so the the problem is resolved, but that's not the end of the story, right? Okay. Service now IT team, what it will what they will do? They will document the entire investigation, root cause analysis, and implementation solution, uh, probably into KB article. Okay. This way they will they create a knowledge base that future generations of coffee enthusiasts can refer to if similar incident occurs. So this example, I just drafted it out just to showcase how exactly problem management works. It works into four steps. Okay, first is like the incident. Okay, a recurring incident occur. Then the root cause analysis. The, then the problem resolution, and then documenting that particular walk around for the same. So after this story, sweet story. Okay, let's jump into the service now instance. Okay, as you can see on my screen, this is service now instance, and currently I am on Uta. Okay, so let there are multiple ways through which you can create a problem. You can either create a problem from incident. So if I go for incident dot list, let's open it out and showcase it out. Um, if I open this particular incident, if you right click over here context and you can see create problem, right? You can create problem from here, or we have a module. We have a module for the same. So if I go for problem. And do create new this will also create a problem okay so let's let's understand how the problem management lifecycle works 
So first and the foremost step is in the new. That's where the story where the first incident occurred, right? So first reported by. So reported by is not a user over here, okay? It's reported by is like what was the first incident this particular problem leads to, right? What was the first incident occurred for this problem? So it may be problem change or any task extended table, right? Okay. Uh, so I will just go for incident because I I like it so much. So I will search for INC. So basically, okay, this was the incident network file share access issue. This was the first incident this occurred. What is the category for it? Let's consider software. Okay, subcategory. There is no soft. Okay, let's consider hardware. Hardware. Let's disk. Okay. Then we can select service. What kind of service? So, um, let's let's consider labor distribution. You can also define service offering for the same, right? If I don't think it's there right now. You can also define configuration management, configuration item, then problem statement. Okay. What are the problems here? Just coffee machine. Okay, machine issue. Okay, I will put the same to elaborate on that point to the description also. Now the state is new. Okay, we can see the state as new assess root cause analysis fixed in progress result. We will be seeing all the states at the latter point. Impact urgency you can define so it's medium. I don't get coffee for today. Urgency is low because I'll be sitting and tired to the office. Okay. Then you can give the assignment group. So let's see if we have something. I think we should have. So let's give it for to database team. Okay, assign to also you can give. So give assign to. So there's someone. So there's no one. In database team. How oh, exactly the thing will work? Let's select some problem related thing only. Problem analyzer, at least to problem analyzer, we'll take problem administrator, okay, as this. And here you can see the contextual search. It will give all the knowledge bases which are created in the past. Okay, you can you can filter down also. Okay, this thing, but I will just keep it as is. And you can simply save the change. So you have just drafted the change. Uh, save the problem. So you have drafted the problem. And as you can see. If you if you have not assigned it to any group, then it will not be in as a state. Okay, as soon as you assign it to group and assign to, it will be in as a state. So the SLA you can define as SLA according to the same. Now once you are in the as a state, what exactly as a state does? It defines whether this is actually problem or not. Okay, so for example, um, if for example if we take the coffee machine only, right? Okay, if a person just Don't know how to operate it out, and by mistake he created a problem that it's not working. So it's not a problem; it's a false alarm, right? So you can, in that particular aspect, you can simply cancel it out. Okay, that see, it's not a problem; it's your problem; it's not our problem. Okay. The other way is like if you do confirm, the confirm will be like, okay, I agree that this is a problem, and we will be looking into this. Okay, and we have mark duplicate also. What mark duplicate did? Talks about mark duplicate is like there's already a problem. For example, if machine uh, coffee machine is hurting me out, okay, it's hurting my colleague out also, and he has already created one change for it, okay. So that in that case, what they will be doing, they will simply click on mark duplicate because they don't want to work on two different problems, right? Which is pointing to the same issue. So what they can do, they can do mark duplicate, and they can give the reference of the duplicate problem. Which the pop-up is not coming. Okay, so you can simply give, okay, okay, this, this, and this problem is duplicate. So in that terms, what will happen? That this particular problem will get closed. Okay, and the issue will get mitigated as a part of the parent problem, the other problem also. Okay, you can see this state closed resolution code will change to duplicate. But we don't want to do that. So. So this, these are all the U actions. So for now, we there is no duplicate and it's a problem, okay? Because we want to, in this particular video, we want to look into the problem. So that's why I, I, I will mark it as confirm. 
So as soon as the market confirmed, okay, the state got changed to root cause analysis. Okay, so we are in the stage where we just put a hat, detective hat on our head, and we just want to find who is the culprit for it. Okay, from where exactly it's breaking. So now in this particular case, there may be two things out. Okay, one is like you are the right person, you are the you are the detective. Okay, and you can find the root cause analysis. Or the other way around is like you have to hire some other detective, or you have to involve some other people out. Okay, in that particular terms, if you want to assign this root cause analysis thing to a different team, what you can do, you can scroll down, and there is a thing called problem task. If I click a new problem task, okay, it will give you two options: either root cause analysis and general. So, what is the difference between these two? Root cause analysis is like see. We have a problem, but we are not right person. We are not equipped enough to get the root cause analysis for this, and we need a help from other team out. Okay, then we can create root cause analysis task. The general one is like, you see, we will be doing the root cause analysis, but we just want to keep you informed, or we just need some general information from you. Okay, as a help, so you can create general one. Perfect. So in this case, we will be creating root cause analysis one. And as you can see, root cause analysis. Again, we have other thing. Okay, so we will give a short description. Hey, hey, we don't know anything about coffee. Please help us with that. Okay, so we have created a problem task. We can also define the due date that we want to drink. Espresso, 5:14, right? So I've given due date. I'll just copy paste the same thing to description, and this time I will not give assign to an assignment group, okay? So that it will not move directly to assign. So we'll just again we have contextual search. I'll just save this out. So it will be in new state only, and now we have the assess button. Let's see if we click on assess, it does. Hey, we want assign to. Right, it's asking for assign to, right? So let's give assign to. So for that we have to just first give um, assignment group. So we will give problem solving the other group, and let's take some user from it. So I will give problem coordinator A. Okay, and now if I move to assess, it should move to assess. So assess is done again. They are the same thing. Okay, that if 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 the thing. That we are also not the right person, right? Go search, go find for other people out who can help you out in this. So they can simply cancel it out. If they think that okay, we are the right person, yeah, we can do it. We also want to eat, drink coffee, so they can simply start working on it. So let's start work on the same. So as soon as the work gets done, so the state got changed to work in progress for the problem task. Now they will do all the other analysis. And the data and the root cause analysis get completed. That they will find the they will find that someone has um, pranked you out, okay, with 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 the coffee machine, and they found the root cause for this. They just found the root cause, not the solution. They are not the solution, right? They just found the root cause. So once the root cause analysis is done, they can simply complete it out, okay. But before completing, you have to provide certain things out, right? You, you will say, "Hey, we did the root cause analysis, right?" But how I'll come to know what solution we need to be implemented? We need the information from you, right? So for that, you have to just provide this information. Root cause analysis, people, okay? There is a ghost. This is a person, not ghost. Person. Who is messing with coffee machine? Okay, so I've given the root cause analysis. I will give the same to propose, fix, note also. I will give work around also. So they they can provide what will the proposed fix notes? It's like what exactly needs to be done as to as a part to remediate it. Work around is like what work around we have for it, right? So if you do okay, it will move to closed. Perfect. Now, if 
it come back to you okay you are the pro- you are the you are the one who have created the problem and uh, you want you didn't like the solution or work on with their product or root cause analysis you did you can ask them to reassess the problem right so they will create can reassess and it will again land to assist it and they can they will redo the work but at this particular point of time i'm pretty happy with the work around with their product so we'll go to problem okay so the you can see problem task got closed okay and now as we know the information right that there is a person who is messing around the same you can fix the fix the problem right so you can fix it out by clicking on fix again we have the same option right mark duplicate cancel and all the things out so cause i will just give the same yeah i will just go to the fixes and i will click on okay i will do the fix for the same okay and once the fix now the fix is progress okay now there is one more thing out now there may be multiple things out right as we have discussed that the fix is like we have to install the cameras and we have to do the regular maintenance for the thing okay but if the company don't have the budget for it right and they want to do it in the future so what you can do you can simply accept the risk is like hey we know that there is a person who is messing around we know the coffee machine is also broken but we don't have money right now okay so for this we'll just accept it or we just make it put it on hold all all your proposals right so for that what you have to do you have to just provide the risk accepted reason right so i will just give we don't have money and okay and it will get closed now in a future if a couple of months back your manager himself got arrested with coffee okay and he is want that i want to drink coffee but i am unable to do so because there was a problem but we didn't work on it but now i allocated some budget to work on it right so let's open that problem and work on it so you don't have to create problem again what you can do you can come to the problem and do reanalyze so what it will do it will reopen the reopen the chain a uh, problem now we don't want root cause analysis if you want you can again create a problem task after that but as we already know the root cause analysis for this what you can do we can simply move to fix and once the fix is done so we have installed the cameras and all those things out okay what you can do you can simply resolve this particular problem out right that we have implemented the uh, solution of work around for it okay? installed cameras uh, schedule schedule maintenance and so on so you can simply resolve now okay so the problem got resolved and if no more incidents coming on this particular same topic right you can consider that this this is gone for all okay the prankster is gone or he is terrified with the your work around and the coffee machine is also working fine and you are drinking express on a daily basis right in that particular term you can close complete this problem so this is the entire uh, we can say life cycle management of problem management in service now okay i hope um, i hope you enjoyed it out okay this particular this this video okay i if you found this particular video helpful don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with the latest content thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video happy problem solving thank you have a nice day